Hello rainbows, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I just wanted to try this hack that I've seen floating around mostly on Instagram really recently. And it involves a drink bottle and a hairdryer to basically curl your hair. I think this has kind of come in the wake of the Dyson um, Air something. Air, air, oh gosh, I don't even know what it's called. I basically wanted to try it for myself to see if it was actually going to work. A few things, all the videos that I saw had a bottle, probably a bit bigger than this bottle. They also had a nozzle on the hairdryer and the nozzle on the hairdryer basically fits straight into the little gap that they cut on the bottle. I, however, have lost the nozzle ages ago on my hairdryer. I contemplated you know, cutting a circle bit out and fitting this in, but then I actually know from experience that hair can actually get sucked up into here and I was like, mm, I don't want to try that. So I still cut out basically, you know, a same kind of width gap and I'm basically just going to hold it here and hopefully, fingers crossed, I will still get the same result. So I have no idea if this is going to work, if this bottle is going to be too small, if not having a nozzle on my dryer is really going to affect it. It probably might, but I still want to try it. And lastly, I saw that majority of people's hair seemed to be dry when they were doing this. I'm going to try it on dry hair and then I'm going to wet part of my hair and try it on wet hair as well and see if it works because why not? I don't want to have this on the full heat setting either just because plastic, heat, hair, ugh, might not go together that well. I'm going to kind of have it on lower heat and if I need to, I can always do blasts of cool air as well. Okay, so I'm going to start by brushing my hair. Oh, it is knotty. Kiss for mummy. Kiss. You're going to say hello to everyone. you got food all over your face, but that is okay. Look at her. Look. She's one very soon. Aren't you, Puppet? Take like a reasonable section. Most sections looked pretty big. I'm basically going to put my hair into the bottle. I'm going to put the blow dryer on the opening. to start a vortex you want it to start to spin <laughs> oh my god I was so excited I just had to stop <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my gosh I think honestly if my hair was a little bit longer that actually works like this is on dry hair obviously so if you were to put it on damp or wet hair and actually fully dry it in the bottle I can see that definitely working, especially because already just with kind of warm-ish, not hot, but warm air, like it's already given it a bit of a flick. That is so freaking cool. All right, I'm going to damp this side and we'll try it damp. So I haven't got it like saturated wet because obviously dripping wet is going to take a really long time. So I've just like dampened it. So it is damp, even though it doesn't really look it, but it is, trust me. This might be a bit harder on this side because... I'm just uncoordinated. All right, it's in there. You get it spinning. Oh my God, that so works. I mean, I know like it doesn't look that great and it's still a bit damp, but holy crap, I'm gonna try a smaller section and we'll just see. I'll get out those kind of shorter bits and try just a smaller section. Okay, so as you guys can see, like most of the hair kind of starts to come out. So I, obviously I don't know if this is a big enough bottle, but oh my God, that's a curl. It works, it works. I am saying that works just based off that one. I mean, it's not perfect. No, it's definitely not. But if you don't have a curling iron and you've got lots of patience and lots of time and maybe a bigger bottle and a blow dryer, that could definitely work. Oh my God. 
that is pretty cool like obviously this is the very first time using this technique I don't have the proper nozzle I definitely feel with the proper nozzle on here that you really slot into the bottle that would work so much better because it would really direct the air that definitely works and that is so cool <laughs> I'm I'm impressed like yeah it doesn't look that amazing but <laughs> It could if you gave it enough time or if you had, you know, the right equipment or longer hair. Definitely, I think longer hair would help, but that is that is pretty cool. Like you, you see these kind of hacks floating around and you think, oh, yeah, that's really going to work. But it's actually kind of cool that it does work. So I'm impressed. Anyway, thank you, Rainbows, for watching. I just really quickly wanted to make that video just to try out because why not? If you guys have tried this hack out yourself, let me know. Comment below if it worked for you, if you ended up with a massive bird's nest knot. I really hope not. As always, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, whatever you want to do. Hit the bell notification and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> I love you. You say goodbye, Hazel. Bye-bye. Are you going to wave? Bye-bye. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>